Hello everyone, thank you so much for having me here today as a keynote speaker at this wonderful event. My name's Davs, I'm the Global Managing Director of Inca, and today I'm going to talk to you about the next era of building brands through influencing anywhere. Before we look at what's happening next, I'd like to reflect a little bit on what's gone before. Influencer marketing in one form or another has been around for very many years and has gone through many iterations in its evolution to what is today a $16 billion industry. This growth is set to continue and it's clear to see why advertisers continue to lean in. The first phase of development was of course the advent of new social channels. These channels introduced new formats, styles, tones of voices and allowed human content to be discoverable to wide audiences. Me at the Zoo was uploaded to YouTube in 2005, a moment which the LA Times described as pivotal in fundamentally altering how people consumed media. Five years later, the release of Instagram transformed the industry. Then over the following years, we've seen social channels like Snap, Pinterest, Be Real come into play, which further diversify what influencers can achieve. The number of places content can go has also grown significantly. An ally to this, we've seen the establishment of content creators growing bigger audiences and expanding their reach beyond the limits of their native channels. Influencers have grown into new mediums like podcasts, TV, literature, and even creating brands of their own. Influencers spotted the possibilities of reaching new audiences in new channels very early on, and it's now not only a social uh, only discipline. But there have been, of course, growing pains. As the industry has evolved, bigger players, be they regulatory bodies or social channels themselves, have impacted how the social influencer marketing space is governed, especially in relation to authenticity and ad disclosure. Rules, regulations and structures have forced the industry to adhere to new market standards, but it's also provided a level of assurance and legitimacy, something here at Inca we wholeheartedly support. And this confirms that influencer marketing has come of age recently. This maturity comes with expectation, bigger budgets will demand more rigorous proof of impact, even more so uh, in challenging economic times. But it's worth remembering that this is normal. Every media channel has been through this process before, facing challenges to provide more data, become more versatile and integrated, and to contribute more value. Ultimately, going beyond being the shiny and the new and helping solve strategic client problems. At Inca, we believe that this maturing process presents possibilities and opportunities, something that we're very excited about, not just those of us who are influencer marketing advocates, but anyone who believes in content marketing to build powerful brands. And the reasons for this positive outlook is based in the data, really. Influencer-generated content is innately more impactful than brand-generated content. We know that audiences prefer to see influencer content, and when they do, they spend more time with it, and they are more powerfully compelled by the message that it conveys. And there's no doubt, therefore, that working with influencers at scale is an extremely powerful tool for building brands. It also has the benefit of being both creative and a performance medium. It presents brands with a way to create large volume of content inexpensively and to generate outcomes through, what, uh, through, the, through the outcomes and the uh, performance that the publication of that content delivers. If we can just put it to work uh, in more places across the media plan, we can prove the impact of influencer content. And we've already been doing work in this space. We have found that influencer content performs better pretty much wherever you put it and whatever outcome you are looking to achieve. So I'll spend a few minutes considering what this new future can look like and share our vision for the role of influencers in future. We know that the space remains varied and versatile, which is one of its great strengths. Uh, and so by sharing this perspective, I hope to inspire debate and to add to the conversation that's happening today where you are. Um, but there's no doubt that the new era of, uh, of in this space will be about influencing anywhere. As I mentioned before, it's proven that influencer content grabs and holds attention. We also know that it's relatively inexpensive and can be produced at scale very, very quickly. And we believe that if it works in a social environment, it will work across channels from TikTok to Times Square and everywhere in between. And that's really where I will start. Being able to repurpose influencer content into digital out of home screens is a trend that we'll see explode in uh, 2023. Add a cutting edge element of programmatic targeting and footfall reporting, and we can make this a measurable, accountable solution for brands at scale. 
And of course, we're already seeing a boom in KOLs driving commerce results for brands on native platforms or on commerce sites themselves. The APAC region is undoubtedly leading the way in this space and the world's largest brands are demanding that we as marketers are taking these solutions across all regions and across all markets, which is hugely exciting. And we can take it further. By partnering with commerce platforms, we can repurpose con uh, content and distribute it programmatically to specific audiences across markets and at scale. Subsequent actions um, and sales can then be attributed to specific pieces of content, allowing us to understand which creators are driving the most commerce outcomes and really closing that loop in the reporting of commerce metrics. Finally, as well as utilizing KOL content for better digital out of home and programmatic campaigns, we can utilize the same for another huge channel, search, product search specifically. Consumers engage with influencer content much more than a static product shot. And this is undoubtedly the future trend that we are excited about and that we see growing hugely over the coming years. And these are just a few examples of how we can influence anywhere. And we believe that these trends will continue to fuel the rapidly expanding industry that we're in. Before I finish, uh, I'll leave you with some final thoughts. Influencer marketing will drive brand growth and deliver outstanding results across the funnel from awareness to consideration to conversion and sales. However, we must ensure that content creation remains at the heart of the process and strong content creation remains at the heart of the process, working with trustworthy and authentic creators that engage audiences in a meaningful way. This is what ultimately builds brand perception, influences behavior and drives brand growth for clients. Thank you all once again for this wonderful opportunity to, to speak with you all today and for listening. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you very much.